jam conversations with legends crazy how one day your idols can turn it to your brethren bitches we severing hit up my are you still out there i just got to do this on my own Here to uh, talk about this Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. I think this is the second trailer, right? Yeah, this is the second fucking trailer. Huh. Just like Justice League, I like it, but I don't like it. Now, first, I'm going to tell you what I like. Um, there's a lot of moments in this trailer I like, actually. Uh, I like when he's just kind of swinging around, you know, having a good old time. That's, that's classic Spider-Man, like comic book Spider-Man. Like, that's classic him. He just kind of swings around, you know, he cracks a joke or two, you know. You know, he just kind of fucks with people. I, I like that. That's that's really cool. I like when he flew past the building and he's just like, "What's up, guys?" Like, I, I like when he swung into the pool, cannonball. I like that. That's it shows that, you know, it shows off how young he is and it shows that he's fun and I I like that a lot. I like that Tony is trying to keep him from reaching too high and reaching for the stars and shit. Tony's just trying to keep him safe. He's just kind of like, "Okay, kid, I need you to kind of." Stick to the ground a little bit, you know. Just be a be a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. I love that line a lot. I love that. Kind of wish they would have saved it for the film. I kind of wish that would have been a movie moment, not a trailer moment. But regardless, I like it. I love this line where after they save the boat from being split apart or whatever, uh, Tony Stark is just like, "I need the suit back," and Spidey and Peter Parker is just like. Uh, I'm nothing without the suit. And Tony's just like, if you're nothing without the suit, then you shouldn't have it. And I love how it ties in to this whole Iron Man arc that's been here since the beginning of the MCU. Like, Tony Stark is Iron Man. And I like that they're keeping with that. He believes that even if you take away the suit, you take away all his trinkets and all his toys, you don't take away Iron Man because that's who he is. And I, I like that. I love that a lot. I love how it also kind of ties in with that Moana arc with uh, Maui because Maui just kept saying, I'm nothing without my hook. I'm nothing without my hook. But then he learns, hey, you know, power is no powers. You are who you are. I like that. I fuck with that. Again, some very cool graphics here, some very cool effects. Uh, don't see much more of Vulture in here. We don't see much more of Michael Keaton. But we see enough. We see enough. I like that we don't see a lot of Zendaya yet. I'm glad that they're kind of keeping her character kind of shrouded in mystery a little bit. You know, she's not really showing up much. And I and I fuck with that. I like that. Yeah. And, you know, I like the trailer. The trailer definitely had moments that got me hyped. Definitely had cool uh, money shots. I fuck with the trailer. What I don't fuck with is that, yet again, they are showing way too much. Now, with Guardians... Volume 2. Guardians Volume 2, they showed too much in the fact that they showed Peter Quill's father off at the end. Now, of course, all of us fans know that his father is going to be in the movie, but I'm speaking for those who don't really know that, who's not really the biggest fans and who don't follow the news and shit. Like, I'm, I'm talking about those guys. You ruined a perfectly good crowd-pleasing moment or a good audience moment by putting that at the end of the trailer, just like, I'm your dad, Peter. You kind of ruined it. Homecoming ruins the movie a little bit because they pretty much just showed off the entire structure of this movie. They're pretty much just like, okay, so Spidey's going to have his suit in the beginning and he's going to be fucking around and Tony's going to be telling him to stop fucking around. Vulture's going to come in and he's going to cause trouble. Spider-Man and Tony are going to have to do it, handle it. Tony's just like, what if somebody would have died? And Tony takes the suit from Spidey, and Spidey has to use his old suit to fight Vulture at the end of the movie. Like, they kind of just gave away the whole structure of this movie. And I don't fuck with that. I actually would have liked it if they kept leading us to believe that that whole boat saving scene was the end of the movie. Because that's, that's what it seemed like. And they kept the whole, you know, final fight with Vulture at, at, at night and on the plane and shit. I wish they would have kept that kind of, like, shrouded in mystery. I, w I wish they wouldn't have put that in the trailer. You know, it's my, it's my same problem with trailers these days. Just showing too much, showing off way too much. Like I said, I'm at the point where I'm not really excited for trailers anymore because I just hate seeing every single 
important thing in this movie. Like, I don't want to see all this stuff, especially three months before the movie comes out. This movie don't come out for three more months. July 7th. Yeah, it's not as close as you might think. Uh, I think we're getting Wonder Woman before we get, uh, what's his face? Spidey. Yeah, we're getting Wonder Woman before we get that, so. But anyway, like I said, though, you know, with all my complaining, I do like the trailer, and I do think the movie looks great. I do like that we're seeing Tony Stark some point within this phase before we go to uh, Infinity War. I would have been pissed off if we saw Civil War and then we don't see Iron Man until Infinity War. I would have been pissed, because that means we go Doctor Strange, Guardians, Spidey, Thor, Black Panther, Five whole movies without seeing Iron Man. I would have been pissed off. Yeah, man. I fuck with the trailer. I think it's a cool trailer. Uh, I think the movie looks cool. It's just that, you know me. I don't like seeing a whole lot of shit in the trailer. So, yeah, dude. Are you excited for Spider-Man Homecoming? Are you not excited for Spider-Man Homecoming? I don't know why you wouldn't be, but uh, comment below. Go ahead and let me know. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you click that notification button by that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload any videos. With that being said, have a great day, you glorious bastards.